Thank you so much, President Wheeler, for those gracious words. And I think I speak for every single person in the room saying that we are really looking forward to working with you. So thank you so much. Um, good afternoon, students. So my name is Glenn, and I've been teaching here since 2000, before most of you were born. I absolutely love SUNY New Paltz for a broad array of reasons, and I hope that across your time here, you will come to love it too. Let me start by saying that you have landed in a great place. From SUNY New Paltz, there truly are no limits to your success. I've seen evidence of this fact time and time again. Our students regularly go far, getting advanced degrees at some of the top universities in the world, medical degrees, law degrees, MFAs, MBAs, PhDs, all kinds of master's degrees, and quite often degrees from our own high quality graduate programs right here at SUNY New Orleans. They obtain careers at some of the most important corporations and governmental agencies in the world. Stay the course, work hard, and you will go far. I have no doubt. Today, I'll be speaking about diversity and its sibling, universality. The concept of diversity is huge in the modern world, especially on college campuses. Here at SUNY New Paltz, we totally walk the walk on this one. People come from ge different geographical regions, states, and nations. We come from different cultural backgrounds. We often have dramatically different interests from one another. We are often different basic behavioral traits. Some people are super outgoing. Some of us prefer to largely keep to ourselves. Some of us, like Led Zeppelin, some of us prefer the sounds of Harry Styles, and so forth. This is a beautiful thing, and the older you get, the more that you will appreciate the extraordinary diversity that captures the human experience. That said, I want to take a minute to talk about diversity's often underrated sibling, universality. While appreciating diversity in all its forms is a wonderful part of the human experience, I'd say that appreciating the nature of human universality is every bit as important. I do a lot of things in my work as a professor here. On several occasions, starting in 2018, I was fortunate to have the opportunity to teach a basic science class at Chongqing University of Education in central China. The students were all from China, mostly from that central part of the country. The class was taught in English, thank goodness for me, and for the most part, the students in the program who were learning English at the time rose to the challenge. Let me tell you this, before I made it to China, I did have several preconceptions as to what things were going to be like. I thought the city of Chongqing, which I'd never heard of prior, would somehow be at a different level relative to New York standards. I thought the students and colleagues would be relatively reserved. I had all kinds of ideas. Yet at the same time, I have to admit now that in many ways, I had no idea what I was in for. I unwittingly had a New York-centric view of the world, and in retrospect, I was quite naive. On the plane ride to Chongqing, I read that this is the most populated city in the world, with about 36 million people. I truly thought that was some kind of typo. That's like four times as big as New York City. And as someone who grew up in the New York City metro area, I learned, of course, that there's no city in the world like New York. Isn't that what it's like growing up in the New York City metro area? Boy, was I in for a surprise. After I landed at the airport in Chongqing, I was picked up by the shuttle that had been sent by the university. We rounded a bend, and I saw a city skyline that fully rivaled that of Manhattan. I was dumbfounded. The streets, bridges, vehicles, etc., were all fully modern. And while I expected to see more traditional infrastructure, instead I found a higher proportion of Audis and BMWs than we tend to see here in the Hudson Valley. We continued to drive. We came around the next bend. There was another totally separate skyline that similarly rivaled the Manhattan Island skyline. And I was in shock. By the time I got to my hotel, we passed about five skylines that all looked like the New York City skyline. This was not the China that I'd expected. The next day, I met the students. And while the cultural differences were obvious and apparent, different language, different food, etc., what surprised me most about the people I met had nothing to do with differences at all. Rather, what surprised me most pertained to similarities. 
Cultural differences aside, these students were no different from New Paltz students. Some were distracted and on their phones the whole time, sitting at the back of the class. Some were talking during my lectures, clearly about their plans for Friday night, and not at all about the content of the course. Some were incredibly serious students, pausing, asking probing questions, thoughtful questions throughout the entire class. And some were extremely extroverted and confident, asking me in front of the entire class to please slow down and enunciate more clearly. Cult I got to spend time with the students outside of the classroom as well. They talked about music and food and clothes and family and friendships, romantic relationships, video games. They talked about partying at the KTV clubs, which I came to learn that a KTV club is kind of like P&Gs, which if you haven't learned yet is a popular New Paltz hangout for students. Its nickname apparently is Pigs, by the way. And one more quick fun fact, P&G stands for Pat and Georgers, who were the original owners from decades ago. But I digress. In any case, getting to know the students of Chongqing got me thinking this. These might as well be New Paltz students. They have exactly the same hopes, fears, interests, and dreams. People truly are the same all over. What a delightful and in my face education I got regarding the universal nature of the human experience. So I'd say this, while you're here, make sure to embrace diversity, because at SUNY New Falls, diversity thrives in so many ways. But at the same time, never forget that at the end of the day, we're all human and we all have a ticket on the same ride. Welcome to the State University of New York at New Falls. I look forward to hearing all about your successes. Make the world a better place and go get it. Thank you.